October 27, 2015 Tuesday of the 30th week in Ordinary Time A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans Brothers and sisters, I consider that the sufferings of this present time are as nothing compared with the glory to be revealed for us. For creation awaits with eager expectation the revelation of the children of God for creation was made subject to futility, not of its own accord, but because of the one who subjected it, in hope that creation itself would be set free from slavery to corruption and share in the glorious freedom of the children of God. We know that all creation is groaning in labor pains even until now. And not only that, but we ourselves who have the first fruits of the Spirit, we also groan within ourselves as we wait for adoption, the redemption of our bodies. For in hope we were saved. Now hope that sees for itself is not hope. For who hopes for what one sees? But if we hope for what we do not see, we wait with endurance. The Word of the Lord. The Responsorial Psalm the response is, The Lord has done marvels for us. When the Lord brought back the captives of Zion, we were like men dreaming. Then our mouth was filled with laughter and our tongue with rejoicing. The Lord has done marvels for us. Then they said among the nations, The Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us. We are glad indeed. The Lord has done marvels for us. Restore our fortunes, O Lord, like the torrents in the southern desert. Those that sow in tears shall reap rejoicing. The Lord has done marvels for us. Although they go forth weeping, carrying the seed to be sown, they shall come back rejoicing, carrying their sheaves. The Lord has done marvels for us. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said, What is the kingdom of God like? To what can I compare it? It's like a mustard seed that a man took and planted in the garden. When it was fully grown, it became a large bush, and the birds of the sky dwelt in its branches. Again he said, To what shall I compare the kingdom of God? It is like yeast that a woman took and mixed in with three measures of wheat flour until the whole batch of dough was leavened. The Gospel of the Lord. <laughs>